Just uh, another mailbag question is turtle. What was Tyka's turtle and how does that fit into the pantheon of techniques that he did? Essentially, Tyka would say there were two types of arm positions that they would call, that would compare to turtle. Okinawa, surrounded by ocean. Sea turtles are out there. It's just natural for somebody to come up with a mnemonic for, hey, this looks like this. So, Tyka would say, turtle laying down on the land, hands or legs were like this. Okay, so that's when you're arced this way, that's how the legs would be on a turtle as it's on the land. It's pushing across the sand or whatever. That's how it's arced. Okay? Now, when it's in the ocean, it's pushing back the water and it's this way. So, land turtle, sea turtle. It's just simply a mnemonic for, hey, this reminds me of this. Anybody studying in Okinawa at the time would have been familiar with turtles. So this hand motion, if you're doing this hand motion in a kata, okay, that's sea turtle. If you're doing uh, this motion, that's land turtle. So Taika would do things like somebody punched, that's land, okay? If he comes over this way, that's sea turtle. It's just a mnemonic. Uh, nobody was going out and imitating animals to make their martial arts better. It's just a way for people to remember, okay, I'm instructing somebody and I tell them, he punches, I want you to do cover and which turtle? land turtle. Okay, now switch to sea turtle. Plain and simple.